Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we're going to be checking out another Pokemon that got a move update with the Season 13 changes, and that is Incinerate Litleo. Litleo is a fire and normal type Pokemon with the moveset of Incinerate, Flame Charge, and Crunch, and having access to Incinerate now gives it a very reliable fast move that can output some damage while also generating a nice amount of energy. For the team, I paired it up with a Spark Lantern on the lead and a Frostlass as the safe switch. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and check out Litleo in action in the Holiday Cup. Picking up a pretty decent lead in the first match, Lantern into Altaria. Spark Lantern can win the zeros versus Altaria, so that's basically my plan. I'm not going to shield, and that way I can either guarantee I get switch advantage or shield advantage. I am able to land the Thunderbolt. My opponent does have enough energy for a Moonblast. I let it go, and they go for a Sky Attack. I'm going to continue to farm and go for the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt should get them very close to KOing here. They let it go, and I'm able to spark down. In the back, they have Wigglytuff, and I am very happy to have Switch Advantage, because now I get to align Litleo onto the Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff is able to charm down, and now in comes Litleo, and my opponent is not switching out. This hopefully means they are weak in the back, so I'm just going to incinerate farm all the way down. I will commit the shield. Let's see what they have back there. And it's a Lolan Nine Tails, and this is game over. Flame Charge connects. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. Moving into the next match, picking up a slightly positive lead, Lantern into Charm Alolan Ninetales. Lantern can win the Zero Shield here, so that's exactly my plan. They're staying in, so I'm going to farm up to the Thunderbolt and fire off the Surf. Surf will land, dealing a nice amount of chip damage, and I'm going to go for Surf number two. This will get them deep into the red if they let it go. My opponent is going to let that through. I should be able to tank the Psy Shock and barely farm down. They go for the Psy Shock. Lantern... Able to hang on and get the farm down. I'm just going to spam surf onto whatever they bring in. And they have Trevenant in the back. Oh my goodness. In comes Litleo. They have Frostlass in the back. And that is a good game. Hopping into the next match, leading Lantern into another Altaria. Same game plan as before. I'm just going to stay in this lead and play out the zeros to guarantee either switch advantage or shield advantage. I'm going to strike first with the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is able to land, taking the Altaria into the yellow. Altaria is going to return fire. Moonblast not going to be lethal here. They go for the Moonblast. They save switch into Vigoroth, and I will immediately respond with Frostlass. Frostlass is able to reach the Avalanche. This is non-lethal, but it will get the Vigoroth very low. And from here, I should be able to shield the Bulldoze and farm all the way down. Since Bulldoze is pretty expensive, they're not going to be able to reach a second one. I do shield the Bulldoze. They're able to reach a last second move, but this is only a Body Slam, so I'm more than happy to let this go, as Body Slam does basically no damage. They should bring in their third here, and they do. It's Obstagoon. Obstagoon, not a great Pokemon to see, but I have a ton of energy on my Frostlass. I'm going to over farm by one and farm into the CMP tie. That is huge, as now my opponent is stuck throwing the Night Slash and they can't over farm. And now that they let this damage through, I should be in a pretty decent position to close out this game. I'm going to send in Litleo. These incinerates adding up onto the Obstagoon. Obstagoon will fire off a charge move. I decide to respect the cross chop, and they do have it, and now they're going to send in Altaria. I'm very close to the back-to-back -back crunches, firing off the first one. Crunch is able to land, getting Altaria low. I'm going to go for the Flame Charge now, as Flame Charge is going to buff up my attack. Flame Charge does get the shield, aggressive switch into Lantern, and I'm going to fire off the Surf. I was a little scared of farming down there, and now it's going to be a race. Who farms down who? And Lantern gets the farm down. Picking up a decent lead in the next match, Lantern into Alola Ninetales. I would of course love to have that A9 aligned against Litleo, but I can't really afford to give up Switch, because that could mean that Frostlass gets aligned onto the A9 later in the match. I'm going to strike first with the Surf. Surf is able to connect, and I will be able to reach Surf number 2 before my opponent gets to their Psy Shock. This will get them very low, so we do see a shield from my opponent, and they're going to fire off the Psy Shock. I'll let this go. Psy Shock, of course, is not going to be lethal. And then my opponent is going to switch into Water Gun Lantern, going for the farm down, but I'm able to reach a last second Thunderbolt. The bad news for me is that Water Gun Lantern is very bad for my backline. I do have a shield advantage, which helps a little bit, so I'm going to send in Frostlass. Frostlass will be able to tank a Surf. I'm going to over farm slightly and then fire off the Shadow Ball. I don't want to take too much Water Gun damage, so this way I leave with a bit of energy 
and some HP as well. My opponent is going to send back in the Ninetales. Whatever they have in back does not want to see the Frostlass. I fire off the Avalanche. Avalanche is going to KO in the back. They have Vigoroth. And unfortunately, this is looking like it's game over. Litleo is getting absolutely torn to shreds by these counters. I do have to start shielding body slams because if I let a body slam through, they're just going to be able to farm down. I fire it off right away, going for the flame charge. Flame charge does get no shielded. These counters are just doing so much damage. My only hope is to try and wait two turns and go for a catch. I wait, switch, my opponent reads me like a book, and I can see the match. Great lead in the next match, Lantern into Frostlass. You absolutely love to see it. My opponent is gonna save switch into Vigoroth and I respond with my own Frostlass. Odds are they probably have an Obstagoon in the back. So ideally I want to win switch here and that way I can align the Obstagoon onto my Lantern and I can have Litleo absolutely bully their Frostlass. I will shield up the Bulldoze and farm all the way down. They reach a Body Slam, but that is perfectly fine by me, as Body Slam does basically no damage. They are going to send in the Obstagoon, and Obstagoon is going to be met with a Frostlass that has double Avalanches ready to go. I fire off the first, that connects, and I win CMP on the second. That is incredibly good. Avalanche does get the shield. They're stuck firing off the Night Slash, and I'm just gonna bring in Lantern, and the moment they switch, it's Litleo time. They switch, in comes Litleo, and the opponent concedes the match. Picking up a bit of a tough lead in the next match, Lantern into Galvantula. I will stay in this matchup to start, hopefully try and force a shield, tank some energy, and then I will eventually be safe switching into the Frostlass. I'm gonna strike first with the Surf. Surf will do some nice chip damage, so I am able to grab a shield from Galv. They farm up quite a bit. I'm gonna let this through. Discharge, only get a hit for neutral, but they're running the spicy energy ball, and that is absolutely awful for me. I send in Frostlass. I'm a little worried about what else they could have. Turns out they're running energy ball and lunge. I'm gonna over farm, fire off this move before they're able to reach their next charge move. This avalanche will KO, so they're forced to commit the shield. I continue to farm. They're firing off another move. I'm gonna shield as well. I still, of course, don't know what they have in the back. They have Obstagoon, and this is unfortunately basically game over, as I'm not going to be able to switch out before they reach their Night Slash, and Litleo just cannot do enough here versus the Goon. So at this point, they get the boost, and I resign the match. The Goon returns in the next match, but this time it is on the lead. I am a lot happier to see it on the lead, as Lantern has a pretty nice neutral matchup here. They go for the Night Slash. They do not get the boost this time, which is incredibly nice. And I'm gonna return fire with the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt will hit for some heavy neutral damage. Opponent lets it go, and they're now deep in the yellow. They go for Night Slash number two. This is non-lethal. I'm gonna let this go and look to over farm. I'm gonna over farm quite a bit and fire off the Surf just before they reach charge move number three. Surf is going to KO. My opponent is gonna send in a Shadow Sableye. That is a very cool pick. I'm gonna fire off the Surf. Surf lands and gets some nice chip damage and in comes Litleo. They'll go for the foul play. I will commit the shield. I'm hoping they're going to be weak in the back. In the back, they have Galarian Zapdos. That is an incredibly cool pick. I fire off the flame charge. This will grab a shield, and now I can send in Frostlass. These Powder Snows are tearing through the Zapdos, and this Avalanche is going to be grabbing the final shield. They can hit me for super effective damage with Ancient Power, but they don't get same type attack bonus, so I'm hoping it's not gonna KO. I let it go. Ancient Power does a lot, but I'm able to hang on and nearly take out the Zapdos. I will get the Incinerate through. I commit the shield. They full send the Brave Bird, and Litleo will be able to close out this game. Able to reach the Flame Charge. Flame Charge will safely take down the Shadow Sableye, and that is a good game. Moving into the next match, leading into yet another Altaria. Same game plan as always. I'm gonna stay in here, play out the zeros, and take either switch advantage or shield advantage. I'm gonna strike first with the Thunderbolt. As we've seen, one Thunderbolt will get Altaria below half health. Altaria continues to farm up quite a bit, and they're going to return fire. Moonblast will get me deep into the red, but I will barely be able to hang on and go for the Thunderbolt. We'll see. Is my opponent willing to commit the shield here? They are not, and Lantern is able to win the lead. They send in Aurorus, and this is incredibly bad. Aurorus absolutely destroys my backline. 
This is enough for the Meteor Beam. I am going to respect it with a shield. And it is the beam that's big. I'm going to continue to farm up. And they have double in the back. And unfortunately, they're running a team that has three Lilio counters, which will happen as the meta is a bit hostile to it currently. I decide to call a bait here. I get hit with a payback. I'm just going to go for the Shadow Ball as I know it's over. Shadow Ball, of course, will be double resisted. And I resign the match. We've got some spice in the next match, Lantern into Luxray. Luxray is a pretty scary Pokemon to face as it hits extremely hard, but in exchange, it is very glassy. My opponent is going to fire off a charge move. Even if it's a wild charge, I do survive it, so I'm going to let that go. They land the wild charge, and then they're going to save switch into Sableye. I fire off the Surf. Surf is able to land, and now I'm going to send in Litleo. Litleo farming up. Sableye will go for the foul play. Foul play, of course, not going to KO, so I'm going to let this through. Should be able to throw one more Incinerate, and then go for the Flame Charge. Flame Charge, of course, will be lethal from this range. My opponent is going to let that go, and they're gonna send in Dubwool. Dubwool definitely not a Pokemon that I was hoping to see as it's pretty neutral to good versus my entire team. My opponent goes for the farm down and they get it. I think I'm gonna send in Frostlass here. At the very least, it forces them to go for payback, which is fairly expensive. Tough decision here. I commit the shield. It's a payback. And now we see Luxray, and Luxray will fire off a move. I should live a Wild Charge, but not by much. Wild Charge gets me low. I'm going to fire off the Avalanche. Avalanche will get rid of the Luxray here, and my opponent is going to let that through. In comes the Dubwool. Dubwool goes for the Body Slam, trying to get rid of the Frostlass. I believe this should be pretty close to Surf plus Spark range. So now I'm going to send in the Lantern and go for the Surf. Odds are they probably call the surf bait, but I believe I should be able to spark down. It's going to be close. Lantern gets the spark down. Tricky lead in the final match. Lantern into a Lolan Golem. We'll have to check the fast move. They are running rollout on Golem. Rollout does charge pretty quickly, but does not do a lot of fast move pressure. I'm going to fire off the surf. Surf is able to land, getting the Golem low. Golem has a ton of energy, and they're going to start using it. They go for the Wild Charge. Wild Charge lands, and my opponent does make a beautiful catch, catching the Surf onto Kafagrigus. Bad news for the Kafagrigus is that I have Litleo. Litleo double resisting the Shadow Claws, so they're basically applying zero fast move pressure here. They go for the Dark Pulse. I'm going to let that through. Farm up to 100 energy, and then go for the Flame Charge. Flame Charge is going to KO, and this way Litleo leaves the matchup with energy, and boosted. We'll have to see, does my opponent send back in the golem? They're thinking about it, and they do. The golem is pretty low though, so I'm going to commit the shield. My opponent goes for the wild charge, and now I'm just going for the farm down, and Litleo gets it. In the back, they have a Lolan Marowak. No baits here. Going straight for the crunch. Crunch connects. And this is looking like a Litleo sweep. Litleo gets the incinerate through. I can just commit the shield. The incinerate KOs. And that is a good game. All in all, Incinerate is a definite positive for Litleo. It gives it a significantly more reliable fast move, and it's a pretty balanced fast move as well in terms of energy generation and damage. The downside to Litleo, however, I would say the Holiday Cup meta as it currently stands is pretty hostile to Litleo. There's a lot of Altaria plus Lantern cores, there's Aurorus all over the place as well, and that can make it a bit tough to use Litleo. So while Litleo is definitely improved, the meta at the moment kind of frowns upon it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.